research done till date uh, does not po provide a specific cause for this IgA nephropathy. Like we can, it could not pinpoint one single reason for developing IgA nephropathy. This means that any person can be at risk of this IgA nephropathy, but there are few risk factors. There are few risk factors, meaning few people are at increased risk of this IgA nephropathy. The first one is the family history of IgA nephropathy. Those uh, people who have, uh, who in their family uh, have patients of IgA nephropathy, they are at increased risk of IgA nephropathy. Uh, this means that there is a genetic component for this disease. The second one is patients who are of Asian descent. Asian descent people are at more risk of IgA nephropathy. Along with this, sometimes males are at more risk of IgA nephropathy. Uh, there, are, there, is, uh, there is something called as secondary IgA nephropathy. Secondary IgA nephropathy is a condition where IgA nephropathy develops secondary to some other illness. Like uh, patients who are suffering from liver disease uh, called as uh, cirrhosis. In these patients also IgA nephropathy can develop after this uh, cirrhosis or some patients can have celiac disease. This is a problem which is related to intestines. In these patients also there is a risk of developing IgA nephropathy and some other infections like HIV infection or other infections can lead to development of IgA nephropathy which is called as secondary IgA nephropathy.